And I know it doesn't look good. So we, we basically have five worksheets already created and all five worksheets are portrayed in the dashboard. Um, the dashboard was created by simply double clicking on the worksheets over here on the left. And um, these are basically the default settings and Tableau dropped them into the view. So the tips I'm going to discuss today, they don't apply to every single dashboard you're going to work on, but they will enhance the view of this specific dashboard. So I hope that you can take something away from here. Um, when cleaning up your own dashboard, you do need to take an, into account your audience type, uh, your audience level, and the purpose of the dashboard. For example, will it be used for explanatory or exploratory purposes? At the end of this video, I'll provide a quick recap of the 20 steps that we took, so the 20 design tips used to make this dashboard look better. Now let's format the dashboard and make it look pretty. So I'm gonna go sheet by sheet. I wanna go fairly quickly, so follow along. So here we have profit by state. One thing you can do is you can drag profit to color to replace it with state. We don't need the state colors. Okay, now you can change the view to a filled map. Now this is not always the best view, but in this case, it's going to make it look better. You can drag state and then you can drag profit onto label. So we can clearly see profit by state and you can change the color palette just because light green to dark green, everyone's using it. Let's use something original. I do like the orange to blue diverging colors. Um, and one more thing you can do is you can increase the transparency a bit to make it look nicer and add a dark gray or almost black border. Okay, moving on. Monthly profit with average. One thing we can do is change this from a line chart to an area chart. It just automatically enhances the visual in my opinion. You can, um, you can hide the, the vertical axis. You basically right click and then hit show header. You um, can add a border to the area chart. So we can add a border here again, dark, dark blue would probably work best. And another thing is you can remove these lines. There are zero lines or grid lines. So we can click format, select the paintbrush, remove zero lines and remove those grid lines. Now it looks cleaner. All right, so one thing you can do is, so we had an average line in there before and it got deleted because we changed the type of chart. So let me go ahead and add that back in. If you double click on average, the word average doesn't give us much. One thing we can do is we can format that um, and we can, you know, we can make it bold um, under the under the font, make that bold. We can fill below and make it like light gray and we can actually edit the actual um, average line. So it doesn't show us the computation, but it shows us the value. So 10,814 is much more viable than the word average. All right, let's move on to sales by product and type. Okay, so what we're showing here is the list of products and then the type is a decaf or regular. This visual doesn't really look that great. So one thing we can do is instead of having type on column, we can move type to color. And now we get this pretty little chart. We can add um, sales to the label field and we can actually, we can hide this, hide this axis because we already have the sales numbers over there. Um, one thing other that we can do is we can format the sales number. So if we hit format and go to field sum of sales, we can make them, keep them at currency, make it custom and Put them in the thousands units and remove decimal places. This way we have less less numbers there. We can also um, add a border here just to make them look a bit cleaner. Okay. Let's move on to percent of profit by market. Okay, so as the name states, this is the percent of profit by market. Let me close out this formatting stuff. Um, what we could do here is instead of a simple bar chart, we can use a stacked bar because it's out of 100%. It, it, it makes sense to just show all of, the, uh, all of the markets. 
you can drag mark it onto label. So here's mark it. We drag that onto label. So we can clearly see. Um, we can use here, I think it would make sense to use a blue palette. So let's use a blue palette to make it a little cleaner. We can add the percent of profit onto label. So where is profit, profit, profit? There we go. Put that on label. And actually, we need to change that from sum to percent of total. And then we can go ahead and we can hide hide the vertical axis because it's, it's pretty clear this is percent of market. We don't need to see the percentages on the left. We can um, change the label, go to text, select all, make it bold, and make it white font just so it sticks out more on this blue, um, blue palette background. All right, let's move on. Profit budget versus actual. Okay, so this looks a little bit messy. One thing that we can do is we can create a dual axis. So if we do a drop down here, we select dual axis. Now we're showing both uh, the sum of profit and the sum of budget profit on one map. But one thing you'll notice is you see this 16,000 doesn't line up to this 16,000. What we need to do is we need to right click on the top axis and we say synchronize the axis. And now, as you can see, 16,000 perfectly matches up to the other 16,000 on top. Uh, we don't need both axes, so we're going to go ahead and uncheck the show header on top because they're basically the same numbers. So we hide, um, hide that axis, and on the bottom we can, we can edit this axis. There are too many numbers. We can call this budget versus actual profit, and for tick marks we can fix them at maybe 5,000 points, not every 1,000. Okay? Now we can change the size, uh, and not the size, the, the type of budget profit to shape versus bar. Bar is automatic. So if we change that to shape and maybe change that shape to a filled diamond, um, increase the size a bit, make it, make it bigger. And we can make the actual profit bars more transparent. So if we go to actual profit and color, add some transparency. And let's add some borders, just so we can clearly see which month we're talking about. So one thing we need to do here is we need to hide this um, hide this field label for rows because we know this means month. We don't need Tableau to tell us that that means month. All right, now let's quickly jump into the dashboard. So things have changed. Uh, what else can we do? Basically, for each of the views, we need to do a little drop down and say fit entire view and you'll see why I'm doing this it, it quickly makes everything fit neatly into its assigned tile all right fit entire view now we can remove unnecessary filters because product type applies to all of these worksheets all we really need is one word, one one filter. We can remove redundant filters. And we can actually change this filter to, instead of a multiple value list, we can do a multiple value dropdown. It's still the same capability. And you can see by uncheck coffee, espresso, all of the charts are changing. So it's a global filter and applies to all these worksheets. So uh, we can increase the size of the map view just so we can see that clearer. And um, we can switch places maybe of the monthly profit versus percentage. So let's switch this view with uh, maybe with the map view um, and move this one down here just to give just to give more space. All right. So what else can we do? We can, um, we can move the map basically closer to this profit um, color legend, just so we can understand that this is its color legend. We can um, click show title for overall, and then 
we need to basically add a title so when you click show title it's currently called unformatted dashboard so we can call it coffee chain um, coffee chain analysis and just say okay one other thing you can do is you can center all of the titles in some cases I like to keep them left aligned but I think for this dashboard it would look a little bit better if it's centered all right so what else can we clean we have all the axes moved out we can actually hide this product field row because we know this is a list of products um, all right well as promised we're now going to quickly go over the summary of the 20 quick design tips so let me go ahead and open that up for you all right so this was the original dashboard 20 quick design tips this is the before this is the after number one we center our titles number two choose a simple color palette be consistent with font type and style use proper borders use of transparency of color you should when not needed you should hide the access try to eliminate all scroll bars but by either saying fit entire view or moving things around use the fit entire view as mentioned in the layout placement of filters and legends make sure that the map for example here that's using the color legend is the, next to the color legend and don't use unnecessary filters when you can use a global filter as i said limit number of filters remove the zero lines and grid lines use a field map versus symbol map now this is again not for all dashboards i just felt that it, it looked nicer than than this view over here it's it's a bit clearer what's the profit levels use color versus column effectively so instead of putting type as a as a separate bar chart here we just add the type to color and it builds this awesome looking chart area chart versus line chart the, the line chart doesn't look bad but i feel like this looks it stands out a bit more than that line chart dual axis versus side by side charts again you can see that the diamond versus the bar is you can clearly see where we passed budget versus actual as opposed to these bars next to each other horizontal labels versus vertical it's not very easy to read. You can see this is central east southwest, but it's just easier to read over here. Uh, remove redundant headers, so we don't need month of day, um, and you know we can just we can remove things like that or product things that are redundant. Stacked bar versus horizontal bar. In in a lot of cases, you will need to use a horizontal bar, but in this case, a stacked bar just made more sense because there are only four fields and. They add up to 100%, so they add up to that stack bar. And number 20, you can move sheets around to make use of space. So we move the map to make it to, to be able to make it bigger. Well, thanks everybody for watching, and please subscribe for more Tableau training videos. Thank you.